What is up guys? Welcome on back to TK's Garage and well, I think USAA has screwed the pooch. Literally. For the longest time. Whoa. For the longest time. Man, you know, with everything that happened with the Green Monster this year, I figured, you know, that's just the car insurance. You know, my homeowner's insurance is good with USAA. The life insurance, everything else is actually pretty solid, right? Um, you know, maybe this issue with the, you know, car insurance is just that. It's just on that side. Well, and then I woke up and I went to go get my coffee like I do every morning. Like if I don't, sometimes I make coffee here, but then there's a coffee shop that's owned by some veterans here in town. And I like to go get coffee. And being that I was getting ready to embark on my trip across the country today, I uh, go up there and I look like an absolute clown. I swipe my USAA American Express card and it doesn't decline it gives some weird error so i tried again same thing well let me grab my usaa visa card try that one these are all credit cards right all of them are declining and i'm going huh well they're not declining they're giving some weird error right so I was like, let me just grab my debit card now i keep my debit card locked so i log into the account to unlock the card and it says <laughs> there's no name there is no nothing. It just gives you the option to order a card. So then I was like, okay, I'll use the other USA Visa card that I don't ever use. It's got like a <clears throat> seven thousand dollar balance, or whatever. It's like for, a for emergencies card. I don't ever use it, right? But I have it on Apple Pay, so I just have to unlock it, right? It's for emergencies. So I go in to unlock it on the app, and what do I find out? Yeah, you can't lock or unlock any cards on USA right now. Now, this was all about 7 a.m. this morning. It's currently at the time when we're recording this video, 2.11 in the afternoon. And USAA is being destroyed online. Now, I already made a video over on More With TK on my experience with it. And what issues um, I have was having. And uh, I wanted to go ahead and, and put this up so people could see it for themselves because this is absolutely um, ridiculous. It just is. Like, there's no, there's no excuse for this, man. And if you go to Twitter and look up USAA right now, and I implore you guys this. The only way that USAA is going to learn a lesson here is when they're transparent. Now, when I got on the phone, I sat on the phone for about two and a half hours, okay? Two and a half hours, I sat on the phone waiting to get to a representative, right? In the morning, like right when you open your call center, I was still waiting two and a half hours to get some. And then when I got to the person, they act like they didn't know what was going on. And then they went into the system, and then she would. I think. I think what she did is she read something to me as a consumer that was supposed to be for employees only. Maybe it was like an internal memo, like saying, "Hey, we're in encountering this issue," and she said that you know, "Hey, it looks like we had a massive data breach," and uh, the only thing USAA could do to they say protect everybody was turn off and kill everybody's credit cards, everybody's debit cards. And stop all external and internal transactions. So, like, if you were getting a direct deposit today, uh, yeah, you're screwed. You're not getting that. If you had a bank draft or something coming out today to pay a mortgage or anything else, yeah, it sucks to be you. It's not happening. If you had anything important that needed to happen today, USAA literally just told you to go F yourself. Is there any accountability? Are they going to give anybody an account credit? No. This reminds me, now it didn't affect me because I didn't have I didn't have Chime, but this reminds me of another financial disaster that happened with Chime like a year and a half ago where they just couldn't customers couldn't unlock or lock their cards 
all their debit cards were down, and Chime had no answer, and then they were like, oh, we'll give you like five bucks, and we went back up, we're sorry, no, nope, and they got sued, class action sued, and they lost, they, they lost a lot of money, the, the virtual bank, but, um, I mean, look at this, here's Rose on Twitter, she says, exactly, I can't get to work without gas, and I'm considering it, it, and I'm consider and considering it's New Year's Eve. I'm supposed to be out driving people around right now, and all throughout the night, I have people depending on me so they can make it to the airport, work, home, or go out safely tonight. I'm gonna guess that Rose probably is a a, a gig economy driver, and she's screwed now. Um, she's absolutely screwed because. It is, it's, it, this is absolutely uncalled for. This is absolutely ridiculous. The fact that, um, they just, it just, it's shocking to me that they're this ballsy with it, you know, that they're, they don't care. They're not, and, and they're doing, they're tweeting stuff like this, right? Yeah. Happy new year. Go fuck yourselves. We're excited to let you know that you can't go out this evening. You're not going to hang out with your friends and family because you don't have any money. I hope, I'm going to be honest with you, I hope they get sued. I, I tagged Elizabeth Warren. I tagged said Cruz, Ted Cruz, said Cruz, Ted Cruz on Twitter, Bernie, and, um, uh, uh, damn, I can't remember his name here from, uh, North Carolina, but I tagged. A bunch of different senators on both sides of the aisle. And this is a bipartisan thing that they could work together on and uh, bust somebody's ass. Because USA is supposed to be, you know, our members are the mission. <laughs> we support military and veterans and families. Yeah? Here's the thing. I would probably be way more understanding of the issue by USAA if they just were honest and came out. And were very clear about this issue and said, oops, my bad. We uh, we screwed up and we're going to fix it. And I'm like, okay, but they're not. And they're when people are tweeting at them because, oh, their DMs are now disconnected on Twitter. I bet because you have every single member DMing you asking where their damn money is. So... When this issue is resolved, I will be transferring all money out of USAA. I'm done with USAA completely. I'm going to talk to the uh, mortgage company that I deal with on the house, and uh, we're going to transfer. I'm transferring the homeowners insurance. I'm done. I am 100% done. Any company that doesn't talk to its consumers about this, and then. When you realize that maybe you put that memo out where customer service reps who are still working at home, by the way, are talking to members and they read that statement that you were hacked for you to backpedal. Oh, no, 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 we weren't hacked. We weren't hacked. Okay, then what is the explanation? You need to issue a statement. You need to let your members know what the fuck is going on. And the fact that you're not over seven hours in, and I found out about it at about seven this morning. Some people were having issues while they were going to catch their flight at 4-something this morning, East Coast time. So, yeah, no. I'm sorry. Um, you've had plenty of time to notify your members and let them know what is going on. And I hope, I sincerely hope that whatever regulatory agency is over you slaps you hard with fines. And I hope each and every one of these customers that are screwed, because I'm going to tell you right now, if an attorney comes out and says, hey, we're class action suing USAA because of this banking issue, I'm signing up. <laughs> I, you know, I have other other cards and other banks, but I'm signing up. I am. Now, am I traveling all the way across the country? Because, no, I kept a majority of my money in the bank with USA. And now, you know, you know, I got... Like eleven grand in another bank, but do like do I want to take the trip across the country with just that? No, I don't. I, I like to have access to my funds, and um, unfortunately, like it, well, I'll put it like this: as soon as they USA sorts this out, yeah, 
I'm transferring all my funds out to a different bank. I can tell you that immediately. Like, it'll be one of the first things I do. And unfortunately for them, the only thing that they're going to understand from us that are members, the people that actually pay their bills, is if um, we slap them and slap them down hard. And the only way that happens is if we all transfer our money or we all retain different counsel and we come after them legally. And it's sad that I have to say that. You know, I had my issues with their car insurance uh, and how my car was a de absolute debacle. And if you're seeing this video for the first time, there's a whole series here on the channel under the Green Monster. You can watch that disaster. But this is a whole different department for them. Like, this is not just... It just it tells me that they're putting people in charge or they're people that they're hiring that are managing these systems in these areas. They don't care about quality anymore. And they're just get it, picking whoever they want, like just whoever will work for them. And it's really like USAA used to be great. It was. It's not anymore. So sucks I have to make this video on New Year's Eve. What a way to close out the, the, the year, right? I'll try to be more upbeat later today, but there you have it. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. But I think they're screwed. Perfect, perfect.